So this video, uh, I'm going to talk quickly about finding niches and finding them on Amazon. People are always asking, how do I find a niche? What should I make my books about? And really the simplest thing starting out is the simplest thing. Create notebooks. Notebooks are the easiest thing to learn how to create. I strongly recommend if you've never made a book on KDP before and literally never made a book before, don't make your life hard and miserable. Make a six by nine lined notebook with margins around the edge so that you don't have to deal with learning what bleed is. If you don't know what bleed is, then you shouldn't be making books that have bleed because it will really make your life hell. So make six by nine. The first dozen or so to a hundred books, make six by nine line notebooks. And don't worry about trying to do all kinds of complicated planners and all kinds of other stuff. Just make those notebooks. And once you've researched doing those six by nine lined notebooks, then you'll know how to research, create covers, upload, do keywords, and then you can move to the next phase of adding more complicated types of interiors to your book. So how do we find something to make? What's the best thing to do? So I let's just start with Amazon since we're going to be creating books for Amazon. It makes sense that that's where we would start. Now, when I do my research, if you've seen any of my videos in the past and you've seen other people's research videos, uh, you may have seen these tools. But if you're new and just starting out, then the three tools that most people use are called uh, when we type in the word notebook, you'll see that you have what's called Amazon suggestion. And just this part here, if you don't have this tool uh, called AMZ Auto Suggest, then you would only get this white box here and you wouldn't get any of this other stuff. So the three tools that I highly recommend are AMZ Auto Suggest. So you just go to Google, type in AMZ Auto Suggest. It's a Chrome extension. Now, if you don't use Chrome, I don't know what to tell you. Most of us use Chrome. Chrome is one of the best uh, uh, browsers to use. These extensions don't work on Firefox. They don't work on any of those other browsers. So if you don't use Chrome, you're kind of going to have to uh, decide if you're going to use Google products or not, because these are all Chrome extensions. So I'm sorry. Um, this is the AMZ Auto Suggest Expander. You'll just type that in. Uh, the other one is the DS Amazon Quick View. And um, when you're looking at books, underneath the books, you see when I hover over, I get all of this information, the product details and this information here. If I didn't have this turned on, then I would have to click each book to get this information. So this information is all very important. This information that's in, in this gray box right down here wouldn't show up if I had this turned off. Um, so it's telling me what its rank is. It's telling me what uh, it's ranking in, what subcategory it's ranking in. So this is a, its rank in office products and then it's sub ranking in um, subject notebooks. And I have the paid version of DS Amazon Quick View, so I get the pricing history. And I don't think it costs very much. I think it costs like $10 or something like that. But this gray box wouldn't show up if I didn't have it turned on. So you, you would have to right click and open these books one by one. So that's why this is called Quick View. So you just go to Google, type in DS Amazon Quick View and you'll go to the extension page and uh, I'm an incognito so um, you just need to it will say uh, install on Chrome obviously I have it installed you just would click the green button that's here and you would install it it will show up on your toolbar 
And then the same goes for uh, a tool called Keywords Everywhere. Um, now, Keywords Everywhere is no longer a free tool. It is a tool that's paid, but it's very inexpensive. Uh, you get hundreds of thousands, so you get a hundred thousand credits for just ten dollars, and that will last you like literally forever. Uh, make sure once you have it, you can toggle it on and off. I use it all the time, and I still have uh, four hundred ninety-nine thousand. So uh, I think when I first got it, you could get uh, five hundred credits a long time ago. So. Um, so I have credits probably for the rest of my life. And I just turn it off when I'm not researching. Um, so you can decide if you want to get the 100 credits and you'll see in a minute why it can be of value for you uh, in your research. The other thing to know is I am in incognito mode. The reason why we want to search in incognito mode on Amazon is because Amazon as an algorithm gives you the results based upon your research history. So when I'm not logged in, uh, it does know where I am, it does know what state I'm in, um, but it's not going to return results based upon prior research that I've done in the past. So that's why it's important to search in incognito mode. When you get your, um, for them, for these tools to show up in incognito, you'll just go to manage extensions and another window will open up once you have it installed. You'll do this on your regular version of Chrome, not in incognito, and you'll scroll down on any of the extensions that you have. This is the AMZ Auto Suggest Expander, and you'll scroll down, and this will be in this light blue. It'll be toggled off, or sorry, it'll be gray like this, and you need to click on it to toggle it on, and it will turn blue. So allow an incognito, and I'm in my regular uh, Chrome browser. And then once you click on incognito, then it will show in your incognito window. And you'll know that you're in incognito because it will be black. How do you get to incognito in Chrome if you're not familiar? Then you, when you're in Chrome, there's these three buttons right up here. You click on them and you just go new incognito window and an incognito window will pop up. Uh, and it will be black again and it will have this little icon on it so you know that you're in incognito. So that said, I have all my tools turned on. Um, I have my keywords everywhere turned on. I have my DS Amazon Quick View. Now again, I have the paid version. The free version is a blue color and the paid version is orange. Uh, so you don't need to have the paid version. Um, like I said, I think it costs $10 or something like that. It's not very expensive. Um, but for books, it's really not that necessary. If you were doing FBA and selling other products, knowing all the pricing and everything like that can come in handy. So you can decide if you want to pay for that. It does give you the pricing history. So that's kind of fun to look at. Uh, so when I have the keywords everywhere, it gives me the Google search. Now that's important to understand. This is not Amazon research numbers. This is Google search numbers, but it can be helpful to sort of know a little bit about whether people are searching for it. But it is also important to understand that sometimes when you have zero volume, that just means that people aren't searching for that word on Google, but it doesn't mean that they're not searching for that word on Amazon because Google is a research engine. People are researching and asking different questions. Whereas on Amazon, people are typing in buying words. And so they're typing in different types of search phrases, which may or may not show up um, in Google. And so sometimes you get zero volume, 
but that doesn't mean that it's a bad niche. Um, so let's type in Panda Notebook, for instance. All right, obviously I'm picking something very random. We wanted to talk about research. We know that pandas are kind of popular. You've heard about pandas, so you can just literally pick anything you want to start out with. And we're just going to pick the word notebook. All right, so we're just going to start with notebook. Makes it super simple because it's the simplest thing for us to make is a notebook. So you can type in banana, you can type in artichoke, you can type in llama, you can type in horse, dog, cat, anything that's on your desk. Uh, you could type in and start researching whether it's a valuable niche. Now Panda Notebook, we will take a look at that and we see Panda Notebook, Panda Notebook blank, that means it just has blank pages inside. Now you can't do just purely blank pages on KDP. Uh, you have to have some little decoration on the page itself, like a little swoosh or a little uh, anything on the page because you can't have more than two or three pages be blank in a row. So you just put something, a box, uh, on the page to get around it being blank. But we would still call it blank because it doesn't have lines or anything else going on. College ruled. Uh, small, so we're talking about creating six by nine notebooks, and there's also five by eight. Uh, we obviously can't do it with pencils because we can't really make those bundles. For girls, for kids, uh, notebooks and journals. Uh, Red Panda is a brand, so uh, but Red Pandas also are a type of panda, uh, but in this case it's a brand. Um, and then Panda Notebooks for Girls and a Panda Notebook. So Panda Notebooks for Girls seems to be super popular. So let's take a look at that and see what we get back. So a Panda Notebook for Girls, it's just sort of thinking about populating the keyword information. Now we are in the all category on Amazon and we're going to uh, make some changes here uh, because we know that we don't want to compete with books like this. See, this has a latch on it with a key and a lock, and this is a bundle of books, and we can't compete against those kinds of books, right? Now, this is an independently published book, so that's a that means it's a KDP book, all right? So that's a good one uh, to look at. So the way that we we, we start off on this page in all. We also want to see it says zero. All right. So that means people don't search for Panda Notebooks on Google. Now, why is that? Because probably Panda Notebook isn't a type of question that people are looking for an answer for on Google. So it doesn't mean that zero makes it a bad niche. It just means that people don't search on Google for it, but I can guarantee that people definitely search on Amazon for it. And how can we tell? We can look at these. These are called the bestseller ranks, all right? Now these bestseller ranks, they change. When you look at this, whenever you're looking at this video, these numbers will be very different. And the books that are on this page will probably be very different because BSR, on Amazon, bestseller rank changes every hour of every day of every day of the year. So these numbers are very volatile and the books that are at the top mean that this book sold recently uh, compared to the other books that are on the page. So sometimes you might want to wonder, this book says 43,000. Well, why is it down here? when this book is higher. It just means that this book sold more recently, so it might have sold today, and this book might have sold an hour ago, or two hours ago, or three days ago. Uh, so this book at the top of the page just sold more recently um, in its history on Amazon. So that's really why you see a wide diversity of numbers on the page. And we can look down and we can see that even though this isn't searched on Google at all, it definitely is a hot selling book. Um, that's not a book. Uh, it's a hot selling item 
um, on Amazon. So the next step that we want to do, again, we just picked a random topic, put anything in there, any animal that you want to look at, any sports, we could do golf, we could do basketball, uh, we could do anything we want. And then when you have that research Amazon expander, you start typing in, you put your, your seed key keyword there, you have notebook, then you put in a type of notebook, and then once we start looking there, then the Amazon expander gives us ideas, and then we start searching from there, all right? So if we put in banana notebook, right? Like I said, any random thing, dog, cats, banana, uh, German shepherd, uh, again, banana notebook, if we type in, sometimes you have to get it going there, just to get the AMZ, it's uh, populating the page. So let's see if we can get the, all right, there we go. Banana notebook. So there isn't a ton, that's odd. Banana notebook for girls, you'd think that there would be. Um, so that tells me that this is kind of an interesting narrow niche and I don't know why it's not giving me more there's banana notebook huh interesting okay so notebook so we have banana notebook we know that it gets 30 searches on Google uh, there's over 6,000 of them on Amazon this is our competition numbers right here Okay, you're going to see that at the top. And we can look here and scroll down. Now this is rank not found. That doesn't, that's not good. This is not a very good niche. You noticed when I typed in panda, I had all those books. When I type in banana, I don't have a ton of books. And the very first book that's here doesn't even have a rank. Uh, and these ranks are kind of high. These BSRs are high. Um, I like to find books that have a predominance of at least 500,000 and um, below. The lower the number, the better the BSR. So the number one book on Amazon sells the most and the one that has 6 million or this one, 1 million, um, doesn't sell a ton, all right? Um, 2 million. So on this very front page, I'm seeing that there's no rank and there's really super high rank. It's uber competitive, 6,000. It's searched 30 times a month. So I might make a banana notebook. I might make a banana notebook, but it seems to me that Panda notebook, I have a lot more opportunity. I can make pan panda notebooks for girls, for kids. I can make them small. Um, so I think making panda notebooks for girls seems to be maybe a little bit of a better opportunity for me. Now my search results, they're very high, 10,000. Um, but I wanted you to see that even though there's no Google search here, this is a much better niche than the banana one, which even though it had 30 search results in Google, this one has far more books and far more books that are ranking in, in very nice numbers. So the next phase that I'm going to take is I'm going to go here to all and I'm going to drill down to books and I'm going to click on the spyglass and now I'm going to start seeing more about my own competition, all right, for my KDP people. So I'm in books. I'm going to go to Prime because now I'm getting rid of books that are not offered through Amazon Prime. So people who are shipping them themselves or any of those kinds of things. And then, Let's see, here we go. 
I want to get rid of out of stock. And I'm going to show you a shortcut to all of this information here in just a minute. Get rid of out of stock. And now I have a couple of things at my disposal. I don't know why this keeps showing up here, but because it's not a book. Um, I have these books. These are independently published. Now we know that this one isn't because it has a rubber band around it, but it's offered with Prime, so that means that Amazon is shipping it. The person printed it, got it printed, shipped it to the Amazon warehouse. Um, so they're spending money and on overhead. One of the ways to do this and make it really super simple for yourself is once you drill down into books, you go to this advanced search bar right here. I'm going to go Panda Notebook for book for girls. I'll control C or right click and copy. Go to advanced search. I'm going to type in my keyword here. I'm going to go type in independently published. You can see that I search this a lot, so it, it basically just auto-populated, but you'll have to type it in the first few times, um, and then eventually it'll start showing up because I want to limit my books to just KDP books. And I'll click paperback just to make sure. I don't need all conditions because KDP books are always new. All right, and I'll go here, click search button, And I want to make sure that this out of stock is unchecked. All right, there we go. So now I know all of these books are independently published. That means they're all KDP books. They're Panda Notebooks for Girls. And I have a lot of competition. All right, so I have 10,000 results. But my competitors are doing very well. Look at these numbers. Now, of course, it's I'm making this video right after Christmas, so a lot of people had good sales. Uh, but the books on this page are, are pretty good. Uh, most of them, um, this is a, a rank not found, but it's all the way at the bottom of the page. Um, so it would motivate me to think that I might be willing to make a panda book especially for girls. Now I can go Panda Notebook and get rid of the girls part. I want to go back to just Panda Notebooks. Now we see that there's 20,000 results. So is it too competitive? Well, it could be. Let's see, here we go. Go Panda Notebooks. I want just KDP books, all formats. Now I can go just new. And if I do that, it should get rid of that out of stock. Click. Oh, it still shows. Out of stock just means people have unpublished their books or book or Amazon has unpublished their books. And so they're showing as out of stock. And, and normally those books are unpublished for a reason, so I really don't want to use them in my research. So I don't want this video to go too long, um, but I did want to show you how we can begin our research. It's very simple, it's very basic. Rewatch this video. Now when we're looking at Panda Notebooks by itself, we have 390 searches. That's interesting. I don't know why it didn't show up before, uh, but it's, it's uh, fun to look at the types of notebooks that are selling. We have all kinds of different pandas. There's a composition notebook. It's panda with uh, some little white things and some green stuff on it. Uh, just a little textured uh, thing with a very simple image, uh, very simple wording. Um, 
very very cute little uh, pandas again with some little squigglies uh, just a girl who loves pandas so that's a, a phrase that gets used a lot as you do your research you'll see uh, this girl loves pandas very similar to this one up here uh, nifty composition notebooks this is a different brand so they must have gotten this paper uh, from some um, graphic company we'll talk about graphics in another video very simple this is just a black cover with simple words but it's actually ranking pretty well so that means it sells a couple of books a month um, even with just this very simple you know all it is is Ariel on a black cover so you don't have to get too fancy schmancy um, there's a red panda uh, which is a type of animal and again very just a cute one now this is three million uh, it was made in July you also do want to look at the dates this is the date it was published all right so that means you know people were going back to school and buying these books uh, this one was done in November so that means it was selling for Christmas uh, this was made last year so when we're looking at these this was made in May so this has been a consistent seller at hundred and ten thousand BSR made lo the longest ago uh, it's selling constantly so the things that we've learned easy to pick a niche just start with notebook if you don't know what you're doing type anything in front of the word notebook dog cat panda banana uh, anything like that um, add your um, your make sure you add uh, the three extensions the AMZ expander uh, the DS Amazon quick view and the uh, keywords everywhere and I'll leave links below the video here so that you can see them and if you do that then you've already started researching and now you're a master and then just do these steps over and over and over again and that is literally what we do to get our business going we just research make books research make books don't make books and then research because that's the recipe for not selling okay so make sure you research and research well these numbers uh, 10,000 is kind of high but you can still see that this book wasn't made that long ago it was made this past year and they're doing well these people are making money they're selling a couple of books a month and that really is how low content books work you're going to sell a few books of having a large inventory you know 300 400 500 600 a thousand books if you sell a few of those books every day if you have a thousand books and you sell one book of each of those thousand you sold a thousand books it's harder to sell a thousand of one book than it is to sell one of a thousand books so that's why low content books is so gratifying because you're just making researching and making books so uh, start off and do some simple research and and give you know take a hand and jump in dive in and make a simple notebook for yourself and upload it to KDP and then you'll be started you'll have fun have a great day bye bye